In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you some of the advantages of editing titles in the advanced mode. We've done a tutorial on editing in the quick edit mode, which is the new name in PowerDirector 2024 or 365. Why the advanced mode? I think once you see its potential, you'll want to move as quickly as you can into that mode of title editing. So we are looking at this project that we have. It's a duck swimming. It looks like he's on a mission. We call it Duck Race. So let's see what happens if we want to edit the title. Now I can get into the advanced edit mode in one of two ways. I can click or double click on my title. That will take me to the quick edit mode. Or I can click on edit and I'm in the quick edit mode. Then I can click on the advanced. But there's a shortcut to going there. Let's close our screen. I can simply click and press the F2 function key and that will take me to the same menu. So you can go either way you want. Let me show you some of the things that are in the advanced mode that you don't have in the quick mode. First of all, when it comes to character presets, you have the same list we had before. You also have this area up here where it says I have a default. I also have what's called my presets. Now, these are two that I have saved that apply not to the title, but just to the characters. If I want to take this one I'm working on and save it as a preset, all I need to do is click on this icon here. And now I have an additional preset. And I can shift between the defaults and my own and pick any one I want. So I can multiply the presets that are available. That's a nice feature. There's another feature we have that's called Backdrop. I'm going to click on this and we'll open up the Backdrop. Now you notice in the presets, the last five that we have also include Backdrops. This allows you to edit any of those if you start with that, or it allows you to create your own. And here I started a Backdrop on the text. And what I can also do, let's move this over to the left here so it's closer. And what I can do is I can choose between a solid bar that goes across the entire screen. I can fit it by default with the title and I can fit it in an ellipse rectangle, curved edge or rounded rectangle. So I can shape the backdrop. I can use a solid color, but I can also use a two color gradient and I can even use an image. We have tutorials on dealing with backdrops. And I can control the width and the opacity and the offset and the curve radius, all kinds of things. So if you really want to customize a backdrop and not simply settle for one of the five presets that you have here, this is a place to go. It's a very powerful tool and we're glad we have a tutorial dealing with that. But it's a nice addition when you're working in the advanced title edit mode. Another one you have is reflection. And in this case, since we're on water, that one might even work. That's a very simple tool. We have another one called Title Reveal Mask. This allows you to move a title from off the screen onto the screen, but not from the edge. So you can set your mask so the title can sit anywhere in the screen and be invisible. And then you can move it to where the mask is. And we have tutorials on how to use this particular tool. But it's really great to give you more dimensions on how to move the title onto the screen in a professional way. Those are some of the additions you have there, but we're not done. When it comes to your animation, you have the same three options you had in the quick mode, but you also have motion blur. You also have another tab for your titles, simply called motion that you didn't have before, where you can use any of these to develop your motion. Again, you can edit it, what you've done and save your modifications as a custom path. So those are all available only in the advanced mode. A couple other things that I think are significant is if we open up our bottom panel here, we have these dark bluish green areas that give me the duration of my in and out animation. If I hover over them right now, it says I have no animation. Let me turn one on just for fun. Let's click on in and let's just do a squeeze. OK, there we have that one. But if I hover over it, now it will tell me I have a squeeze and it gives me how long it is. I can use my mouse to change the duration. And same way with the out. If I want out animation right now, I don't have any. 
but if I did, I could make it longer or shorter. So that's great control over your in and out duration when it comes to animation. Let's, uh, let's go back to the object tabs over here. Another thing you can do is you can add multiple texts to the same title. This is really useful because if you move the title and you have more than one text, they'll all move together. I simply click on the T and it will let me do another one. Let's see. And I can move it wherever I want on the screen and I can do a T again and I can do a third. And what it will do is it will add these titles. You notice I have up to number three here right now. And each title has its own sets of properties. And so we have title number one, title number two, and title number three. We can also add objects. We can add particles and objects as images. We can even change the background. So there are lots of things that you can add to your titling using the advanced mode that are not available in the quick edit mode. So I'd like to encourage you to consider learning this tool uh, once you've gone past the beginning steps because it will give you great flexibility and great creativity as you edit titles in CyberLink PowerDirector 2024 and 365.